So I think it's that balance between the short-term world that we live in where we need to deliver results now to hit numbers for the quarterly and to help contribute to the results for the business, but also understanding that CX is a longer-term strategic play, which is more about long-term success and sustainability. Um, mm. And I think that's the battle, really, that CX leaders have. Yeah, and and sort of any any tim t tips tips or or anything to sort of help people overcome some of that i think you know fascinating that you say it's like it's like farming it, it's for tomorrow and also you know as the cx leader you're often not in control of yeah. the things that need to be done um to improve things or to to get returns on investment are you having conversations helping people sort of navigate this this world yeah and and i guess the i guess two or three immediate things that come to mind i think you know your ability to balance finding things that can de deliver some short-term benefit as quickly as you yeah. can um but as well as being clear about that there are things that you're doing that are more long-term being really clear about what that delivery is i think the second thing is is that you know as i talked about earlier in my career make it your business to spend time in other areas too often we sit in our own chair and say, oh, they're not getting it. They're not understanding. They're not listening to what I'm saying. But actually, it's that old adage of first seek to understand before you're understood. Yeah. So spend time understanding how those other functions work with your peers in that group, understanding what fires they're putting out, what challenges they have. The more you can understand about what's going on there, the greater your opportunity and ability to influence. You know, it's like, I'm going to throw out loads of analogies excuse me in this conversation it's like it's like being the conductor of an orchestra you see mm. when you're when you're the cx or the person that's responsible for cx you're like the conductor because you don't actually play an instrument you don't make a sound but you're dependent on everybody else making the right sounds at the right time mm. so that ability to influence across the table speak the language of your counterpart so be able to converse with with your cfo with your commer chief commercial officer talk marketing with your marketing director being able to really create those connections and influence is really important. Mm. And ties in with one of my sort of core beliefs or, or something that I say a lot about customer experience, which is that yeah, put it's most simple. Customer experience for me is just a bunch of people trying to make another bunch of people's lives easier. Yeah. And, you know, you, how do you do that? You listen to their problems, you build a great relationship with them and, and, and all of that sort of stuff. Yeah.